Hi everyone, welcome to my channel ICT Active Learner. I am here today to explain and solve Cambridge IGCC ICT 2021 February March document production part. So before I start, I need to make sure that I have all these files with me. So I have them all in one folder. Next step is to start creating a evidence document. So when you start creating an evidence document, you need to open the file M21 evidence first. So on this top, I have the folder where I have the evidence document M21 evidence. Next step is to make sure that your name, center number, candidate number will appear on every page of the document. So insert and include into the header your name, center number and candidate number. So that's my name. Here is my center number and here is my candidate number. Done. Next step is to save this document as M21 evidence and then followed by your candidate number into your work area. So I am going to click on file, save it as and I am going to save it as a word document and I will call it M21 evidence with my candidate number. Yes, exactly this is what they said. Just click on save. Next step. Task 2 document production now. You are going to edit a document where paragraph styles have been applied. Some of these styles will need to be edited. So first of all using a suitable software package open the file M21 lab PRAC practical. So we need to open this file lab prac this is the one. Next step is to save the document in your work area with the file name m21lab.work. So I need to save this one as first of all into my work area as a word document and I will call it m21lab.work. Done. Now I need to go to my folder and place in evidence document as evidence 1 the screenshot that you have saved the file. I need to go to my folder. So here is my file mlab work. The file name should be clearly visible. Print screen and then we'll go to the evidence document and this is my evidence 1. Make sure you crop the picture so that it will give you more clear view of your work just like this that's enough next step is to set the paper size to a4 and page margin to portrait so we'll click on layout and then paper size a4 and orientation portrait Next step, the margins from the top 3 cm and the others 2 cm. So we'll click here, page setup, margins from the top they want 3 and the rest left, bottom, right, 2. That's it and then you need to have the evidence of the margin and paper size and orientation. So click on OK here or before I will just click here OK and then evidence 2 we'll just add here evidence 2 so here it is we'll just have the paper page orientation and the paper margins just like that and we also need to include the paper size as well so if you just click here or 
you click here and then go to paper paper a size is already a4 size is already selected so then you just go to evidence and paste this as your next evidence crop it this is how you will crop yes that's it the paper size is even visible here now let's go to the next step here they said place in the header of the document your name center number candidate number on the left side so we'll include insert header here your name then your center number and your candidate number next step the text tawara university science in the center so this one will include into center and then the image m21 uh, image or jpg right a line sized to two centimeter wide and spec ratio is maintained and text wrap applied so here at the right side we need to insert an image and we need to go to desktop to our folder that's the image and this one the fit they said two centimeter wide so here is the width we just change this one to two so that's it and then after place in the footer automatic page number left align so insert now footer page number at the left here page number current position and page number and then file name with the full path right align here we need to go to quick parts field then we need to choose the option called file name and choose the option add path to file name that's it nothing is required into the center of the document close this one next step make sure that all items align to the page margins no other text is available into the header and footer area no header or footer item overlap header and footer are displayed on every page so you just need to check if everything is clearly visible yes that's it and then you can adjust this one by just changing uh, this to the little bit to the left yeah so you can even like arrange it like this or the other way both is okay actually the, the important thing is it should be right aligned next is the house type specification of paragraph is shown in the document or sorry in the table these styles have been correctly applied to the document but two do not match the house style specification so you need to check each and every one so let's check first for the style lab title right click modify so font sans serif and 20 center align perfect and then all capitals it will show us here all caps yes it is all cap and then single and after spacing is 12 after spacing 12 and single line spacing that's great this one is perfect next is lab subtitle 2 so right click subtitle we need to check this one now 18 right align perfect and then 0 and 12 after spacing so this is perfect next one is lab subhead right click modify and lab subheading now times new roman 14 left align so it is center align so you need to arrange this one left align then after bold and underline yes it is bold and underline bold and under, underline not italic and then after you need to set the spacing after 12 so it is here 0 format 
paragraph after spacing we want 12. Click on OK and then click on OK. So the setting has been done. Now everything is perfect. And next step is to look at the lab body. So right click lab body modify. We want this one to be 12 and justify. So 12 and it is left to right not justified. So format paragraph engine choose here justified. And no other changes. Line spacing is 1.5 which is single right now. So we'll change this to 1.5 and after spacing is 12. No bold, no italic, no enhancement according to them. So just click on OK. So actually there were two styles. One was subheading and one was lab body. Now they have mentioned here, identify and correct the two styles and that do not match the specification. Place in your evidence document to show the definitions of only the styles you have corrected. So we just right click, modify, then we just click on print screen. Okay, and this is your evidence three for lab sub adding first. So we don't need this all screenshot, we just need to crop the unnecessary part of the picture. So that's for first, and then we have second one as well. And the second one is the lab body. Print screen, click on OK. And we'll just need to paste it as the next evidence. Crop it as we don't need the unnecessary part of the picture. Just like that. Done. Moving forward, enter your name immediately after the subtitle guide produced by. So here we will go to the top guide produced by and then your name. That's it. Next step, change the page layout so that the subheading vernier scales and all following text is displayed in two column of equal width with a one centimeter space between them. So vernier scale and onward. From this point yes yeah, so that the vernier scale and the following text from here till the end layout columns more columns two columns and one centimeter space between them that's it this is how it look like now next is to apply the lab bullet paragraph style to the text from the lab book evidence till A4 notebook. So we just need to look for the list. Yes, the lab book till this one. And thus we need to go to home and apply the bulleted style to it. Next step is to format the paragraph that starts. These are just some of the items so that it displays an indent of one centimeter from both left and right margin. So this is the paragraph. Just select this one till this point. Left and right indent they mention. So we just need to go to paragraph. So the left and right indentation we have to mention one one uh, centimeter. So here is they say indent of one centimeter from both left and right margin. So we just need to uh, adjust from both left and right one centimeter indentation. So we just need to click here for example one centimeter and then one centimeter from right. 
that's it this is how it look like and then this is an external single line black border so border of for example border and shading to the text yes or we just apply to the paragraph okay and fill it with the light gray background so we will fill it with the light gray background or we just need to go to right click or just click here border and shading shading of light gray okay to the paragraph just like that and then after find the bracketed text in the document insert link to tutorial here and make the brackets and text bold and italic so we just need to make this one bold and italic select this one yes bold italic next step is to spell check and proofread the document if everything is perfect so if it is for example no widows and orphans no not at all then a uh, list are not split over yes list is in a single and then spacing between all items is consistent and the document is complete with paragraph impact so now you need to save this one and print this document so for printing file print and then you just print it out so that's all from the document production part of this question paper hope you have learned how to produce a document through given documents and through given files thanks for watching please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates